Hello, welcome to Creative Crafting by Katie. I have a really cute project for you today that is a scarecrow. We are going to show you how to make this kit that is available on my website at creativecraftingbykatie.com. But please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You want to subscribe to my, my channel so that you can see all the new and upcoming kits and fun and exciting things that are going on here on my channel. Let's get started. Real quick, let's go over the kit. I have a jumbo size popsicle stick, a couple of sunflowers. We're going to use some straw, or this happens to be the stuff that you would get for um, Christmas time for your nativity. And this this uh, eight by five board that I cut myself, um, that are also available on my website. A piece of jute, a durable face from Designs by Beth Walker, and a piece of burlap. This burlap here is an eight by eight piece. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off with putting our white paint down on this. We're just going to do the front and the sides. Any white acrylic paint will do. We just want the surface to be well um, covered so that when we put our piece of paper on there, it will not show real dark. We want it to show through pretty light, okay? So let's just get this acrylic paint on here. Definitely do the sides. Don't have to too much worry about the top because you're going to have burlap over it. Now, there is a, a place here for a hanger that you can use. If you would like to put a hanger on here to hang this, although this does stand up on its own, you'll want to make sure that you put it on before we put on the burlap hat. Let's go ahead and get all the way around this edge. You could also finish off the back side if you wanted. Okay. Again, you won't see that top part because of the burlap hat. Let's just dry it up real quick and go from there. Now we are going to take our cute little face here and we are going to adhere him with some Mod Podge onto the surface here. And we will just scratch away with a sandpaper or embroidered, you know, nail, nail file to, to put, to get the edges off there. So just a thin layer of Mod Podge. A little bit higher. So let's just go ahead and adhere this on. The hair might come off a little bit on the side. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that your face is on the board like this. This is rice paper. So it is easy to work with and be uh, without any wrinkles. So now we're just going to take, I like to use these little embroidery files from the Dollar Tree. Take them off. Like this, and there you have it, his cute little face. Now I'm just going to Mod Podge over the top of that piece of paper. You don't have to do this. If you want to, you can. It's just to help protect it. If you're using this outside, you might want to put that piece of coat on, uh, Mod Podge on there. And then let's just dry it up, and I will... Show you how we're going to put the hair on next. All right. Now we're going to adhere the hair or straw. Whatever that you have will, will work. You could even use some raffia cut up if necessary. We're going to take some hot glue and just kind of stick it in that area there. And then you're going to take the, the straw and you're going to just let that catch to the glue. His hair is going to be messy and crazy. That's the point. I would gather up my stuff and have it kind of in the in the way that you want it to 
to lay. So it's a little bit more straight and together. And then just do the same over here. Now you guys make this hair look whatever way you choose. There's no right or wrong. Push it down and then get that stuff out of the way. And if there's something that you don't like, you can always cut it away with scissors. Right? Keep moving on that. Put some across the front for some bangs, if you will. Um, this is just a cute little boy with some messy hair. And you're not going to see all of this hair because the, the burlap is going to come over it. So this is why you want to apply ooh, this before you go and do the hat. So it's underneath the hat. It'll peek out the sides. Okay. And that's what you have for his hair. Now we will take our piece of um, 8x8 burlap and we will, and our piece of jute, and we're going to tie the hat on there. Okay. So what you're going to do is decide where you want your mark to be for it. Uh, you could fold it over if you wanted to. Fold it under if you want to. And I'm just going to do a little bit of, of folding it under. And then come around the back and adhere it. Okay. So let me get this down first. Just a quick little strip there. Okay. Gives it kind of a little bit more of a finished edge look. Although we will have something going over that. And then you're going to also now take your glue... And I would just adhere it to the piece of burlap in here. Then you'll know exactly where it's at. And then you can apply it down here. I want a little bit of his bangs to show. Like he's Buster Brown almost. Okay. And then we're going to take that and we're going to wrap it around the edges. Just hold that down there a little bit while it works. Okay. Then what you're going to do is come in here and glue it down into these little areas. So just put some hot glue inside the little nook there. And then come around here. It's just going to give it a more defined look of the hat. By doing this and if you want it to poke out a little bit like this you can definitely do that and then take your piece of jute and just tie it around this it can be loose it can be tight it can just be you know any way you want I want this to, to look a little bit more like a hat so I'm gonna peek it out a little bit there And I'm going to leave this because I like that look of how, how cute he looks with that, with, with that on there. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you have your piece of popsicle stick that you can take across the brim. Put it on a bit of an angle if you want. He'd be cute on a little bit of an angle. And you can also take a little bit of paint. I would do maybe uh, something that would match his face. I have this Harvest Gold. It's a textured paint from Deco Art, but it works really well as a great fall mustard color that you can use to paint up this stick here. And just paint the one side. If you don't have something, mix the colors. And then we will dry it up. Okay. Then we're going to glue it down.
And again, I'm going to put mine on a slight angle. You can put it on as much or as little of an angle, if any angle at all. Okay. Just to make him look like he's, I mean, he's already cute. That face is stinking adorable, isn't it? Okay. So just a little bit of an angle like this. Okay. Then you're going to take your sunflowers and we're just going to put them off on the corner here. Hot glue them down. And everything that I've used today, other than the Mod Podge and the paint, will come in the kit. Okay? There you have it. How adorable is this thing? And it sits up. It sits up on its own if you so choose. If not, you could definitely put that string around the hanger there um, inside before you put the burlap hat on. Stinking adorable, isn't he? You guys can get these kits again at creativecraftingbykd.com. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me here um, so that you can see more things here on my channel. Have a great rest of your day.